This is Spotlight on the Arts at Illinois Central College. On Saturday, August 19th, the 2017-2018 ICC Guest Artist Series presents Dogs of Society, the ultimate Elton John rock tribute, at 7.30 p.m. in the ICC Performing Arts Center on the East Peoria campus. The group presents classic 1970s Elton John music performed by the Six Piece Band. According to John Gore, founder and lead singer of Dogs of Society, the group was formed based on his fondness for Elton John music. I've always loved Elton John's music, and ever since I started beginning to play the piano back when I was around 10 years old, 9 or 10 years old, uh, I, one of the songs that really wanted, uh, got me to want to play the piano was Crocodile Rock, back when that was uh, uh, on the radio. I just loved that song, and my mother played piano, so... It was a natural thing for me to play the piano, and Elton John's music has been so so popular throughout the decades that I've always known a lot of his music. And it really wasn't until four or five years ago where after I've played with a lot of different bands and a lot of different situations and then kind of taken a hiatus off, I decided I wanted to get back into music, but really only play the music that I love. And one of those artists is Elton John. And uh, being a piano player and a singer, it was a good fit. So four or five years ago, we got back. Well, I put together an Elton John tribute band called Dogs of Society. And uh, we've been going strong ever since. It's been a, a real blast. While some tribute bands concentrate attention on the look and other elements of an artist, John said Dogs of Society focuses on being true to the original sound of Elton John's music and recordings. I think that as far as the music goes, we're very accurate. Uh, we, you know, spend a lot of time not try, trying to not do our own versions, but try to do a version that's faithful to the original recording. And to that end, I've, you know, brought in some of the best players in St. Louis. And, uh, uh, you know, we've been able to reproduce a lot of, of his music very faithfully. So I'm very proud of that. As far as trying to do the shtick that Elton John was known for, I do look like him kind of naturally. So, you know, I kind of wish I looked more like Brad Pitt than Elton John, but I do look more like Elton John. I do dress up. I wear the glasses. Um, but it's really to evoke Elton more than do an imitation. For me, the imitations tend to be a little bit cheesy, and it tends to be more about the duck costumes and some of these silly outfits than about the music. So I shy away from that end of it, and I try to evoke the Elton that you would hear in the early 70s and uh, really concentrate more on the music, although I'm told all the time how much the show looks and sounds like a real Elton show. John said there are a couple reasons why Elton John and his music remain popular after more than five decades as a recording artist. One reason is, even though he's an older guy now, he can still belt it out, he can still play extremely well, and he's still a great singer. So, you know, a lot of singers, especially later in their careers, it's more of a nostalgia a nostalgic situation to watch them play. Maybe they've lost their voice, or maybe they can't really play. But with Elton John, he can really play and sing and put on a great show. I know I, I saw him uh, last time he was in St. Louis a couple of years ago, and the guy was belting it out like he was 25. I mean, he was amazing. So, you know, I think being able to stay in front of people, being able to perform live and pull it off well has kept his career going. And also the fact that he's still putting out great records. I mean, the last couple of records he's put out have been very, very strong. He might not have gotten the radio airplay that he once enjoyed, but uh, the, the last few records have been really outstanding. John said that he's never received feedback about Dogs of Society from anyone connected with Elton John, and he's quite okay with that. I don't know anyone connected to his camp, and I certainly don't know Elton John. I sometimes wonder what he would think or what he generally thinks of, of Elton John tribute fans, because, you know, there, there are others out there. And uh, sometimes I wonder if he wouldn't be kind of irritated by the whole thing, to be honest with you. Uh, but, no, I've never played for anyone connected to Elton John. And if I were to do that, I would be very nervous and very concerned about what he would think, because I would think he would be a pretty honest critic. While John said he had particular favorite Elton John songs prior to performing in Dogs of Society, he added that his list of Elton John favorites has evolved over the years. It's it's strange because before I started playing a lot of it in you know in Dogs of Society, I had a set of favorites, but I've actually come across new songs that I actually, since I've learned to play them, 
I like them even more. You know, one of those songs is Elderberry Wine. That's one of those songs that I wasn't particularly familiar with. It's a rocker. It's one of his early songs. And uh, the band sounds so good on it, and it kind of suits my voice and piano style that I want to play that at every show now. So that's one of my favorite songs to play. Um, I really enjoy playing Philadelphia Freedom. Uh, the band sounds great on it, and uh, I think it, it comes off real well. Um, uh, but my favorite would probably be Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. I just love that song. I love the sentiment behind it. And it's actually the genesis of our name, Dogs of Society, because that, that lyric is in, the, uh, is in that song. And what can audiences look forward to if they attend the show? John says they'll see a true live music performance. They're going to see uh, uh, two full sets of honest, rocking Elton John uh, tribute music. We come with a full band, and we don't do anything like playing with recorded tracks or anything like that. Everything you hear will be musicians actually making the noise on stage. All the vocals are, are live. All the background vocals are live. We enjoy putting on the high-energy show, and you know we're rock and roll players at heart, so it's going to be a rock and roll show, and uh, I think people will feel like getting up and dancing and singing along, and uh, I think they're going to have a great time. That was John Gore, founder and lead singer of Dogs of Society, the ultimate Elton John rock tribute. The group performs Saturday, August 19th at 7.30 p.m. in the ICC Performing Arts Center in East Peoria. More information is available online at www.artsaticc.com, and the ICC Performing Arts Center box office phone number is 309-694-5136. Our thanks to John Gore for taking time from his schedule to speak with us. On behalf of the staff of the ICC Performing Arts Center, this is Communications Coordinator Lloyd Kirby. Thank you for listening.